Key Stage 2, it's your favourite teacher, Mr Violet, I'm back. Now, I hope you're all well. I would just like you please to basically have a massive smile on your face, follow my exercises, and just keep yourself busy during lockdown and your home learning, please. Okay? Every Friday, today being the first one, we're just going to do a little bit of movement, different types of jumps, rolls, sometimes a little bit more running and active active stuff. So it's basically for you just to have a bit of fun, knowing that we're all doing it at the same time. Big smile on your face and let's be nice and active and lively. Okay? Today, we're going to do some jumps and some rolling. Okay? Along with a little bit of movement side to side, backwards and forwards. First of all, it's going to be a warm up. So if you just want to follow me, make sure that you've got a big area or a big enough area and preferably choose a room that's got a carpet just so it's a little bit comfier for you. You'll need a water bottle, make sure you've got shoes on or have shoes and socks removed so you've just got your bare feet. Okay, so to warm up, we're just going to start off by moving side to side, nice and slowly, big stretching. Okay, just copy me, try your very hardest to do exactly what I do at my pace. If you want to go a little bit faster, by all means do. But just get yourself nice and warm, moving. Okay, so now I'm moving forwards and backwards, side to side. I know George and Harry have done this a lot on the dance floor. Good. Keep going. And now let's turn it into skiing. So let's get a little bit lower, bend the knees. And we're just going side to side, okay, skiing. Side to side, maybe do a little bit diagonals as well. Using all the space, change of direction. And just getting those legs nice and warm. Use the arms, let's go, come on. Five seconds, a little bit faster. Keep going, key stage two. And hold it there. So now I'm just going to kick the door down. Start off small. And we'll get a little bit bigger. So move around the area. Keep going, then go a little bit faster. And then slow it down just to a slow motion kick. Okay, time to cut the lawn. So place your leg, and just on the move, keep cutting the grass. Okay, next one, high knee. So just start off bringing it out in front of you. And then go at an angle. Cross your body. Okay, make sure you go right across, swinging the arm. Make sure you rotate your hips. And really warm up. Okay. We're going to start off now. Just tapping the outside of our feet. And when you're ready, we can just increase the speed just a little bit and then move so slowly inside of the feet. Now increase the speed and then can we alternate? Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out. Keep going, come on, with me. Okay? Can we feel a slight increase? in the heart, okay? Is our heart beating a lot faster? Can you feel it? Have it on your chest, down the side of your neck. You should be able to feel a pulse and you feel it beating faster. And do you know what that's doing ultimately? It's beating faster because it's pumping more blood to the working muscles. So, now we're going to warm up. Just going to move on to our first jump. Okay? We're going to practice jumping for distance. So we'll stand in start, we'll bend your knees, swing your arms, keep your posture nice and tall. So put the chest out, head nice and still, straight, fix your eyes on the spot, 
and then jumps past that spot, making sure you bend your knees when you land, and your arms are horizontal, okay? In your own time, along with me, let's do five jumps, as big as you can. You might be able to go a lot further than me, because I'm only in the library. Let's see how far you can jump. Really try and hold the landing. Bending your knees, horizontal arms when you land, along with sticky feet, are all key factors to producing good control when you're jumping. Let's do two more. And there we go. Okay, moving on. We're just going to do some little hops. Try and hold it, please. Get slightly easier, try and do a bigger hop, but make sure that you maintain that control. One more, and then swap legs. Two more. Good, keep going. Come on, please stay still. There we go. Okay. We're now going to do a hop, step and a jump, so just combining it. Again, whenever you need to, just make it harder for yourself by going a little bit faster, jumping or hopping a little bit further. But make sure you have that control, okay, by taking your time, making sure your body's in line, planting your feet, bending your knees, and trying to do a smooth hop and jump, okay? So we're just going to, I'll come all the way back here because we need space. We're going to choose which leg to start on. We're going to hop, jump, and then another hop. Okay, and then walk back, and this time, hop and start from the opposite leg. So I'll choose my right leg now. So I'll hop on the right, jump onto two feet, and then hop on the right. Okay? A hop, jump, hop, jump actually. We're going to do four, but I will, I'll have less room. Okay, so it's going to be a hop, jump, hop, jump. Okay, one more time. Change the leg again. So it's a hop, jump, hop, jump. One more go. Back to the other leg. Come on, mate, this one your best one. Hop, jump, hop. Jump, and I'm nearly into your screen. Okay, this time, still do a hop please, with a landing, but we're going to have a step as well. So it's going to be a hop on one leg, and I step onto the other, and then a jump. Okay, if it's too easy, go for maximum distance, and look to make it continuous, so try and do it without stopping. So here we go. I'm going to go for a continuous hop, step, jump. Hop, step, jump. And a nice landing. Ta -da. Keep going. Hop, step, jump. And a nice landing. One more. Choose which leg to start on. Make sure you keep changing which leg that you begin your exercise on. Hop, step, jump. Really exaggerate that step. Pretend you're going over the river. Really exaggerate it. Okay. We're now just going to move on to some little movements. So we're going to do tiptoes, some leaps, and that'll do for now actually. Do some tiptoes and some leaps, which is basically exaggerating the step. I meant to say, if you can't always understand me, or you need to just repeat the exercise, or you want extra practice, just press the pause button, spend a little bit longer, and when you're ready, then you can press play again. Okay? Let's carry on then. So, with tiptoes, we all know tiptoes, it's so important to get as high as we can, try and reach the ceiling, because then you're really putting emphasis on this muscle here, which is, you've got it, the calf muscle. Okay? 
So we really work on that car muscle. And we're getting a good point to flex on the toes, toes. Okay? So that's pointing, that's flexing. So the more we put power through our point to flex in our ankles, the more stress we can get on the muscles and the better height we can get and more control around the tiptoes. Okay? So let's go through some tiptoes. The more tiptoes we do, the better. You should really feel it down the back of the hamstrings and the calves. A few more. Good. And stop there. On to the leaps then. So where we exaggerate the step, we're now doing it with a little bit more momentum. So we're putting, in, we're putting a jump in there as well. So we're leaping. Leap any direction. You can leap backwards to the side, forwards, turn around, do two on the bounce, whatever you want. Leap around the room, burn off some energy. If you want a challenge, try and do it continuously. So don't stop and just keep leaping. But make sure it's all controlled movements. And you're really pushing off that back foot. Okay, so every time I get down, I then push off the foot that I land on to create that power. Okay, the final one is we're going to go on to our tuck rolls now. So for our tuck rolls, you can find a space, preferably a carpet in the lounge. And we're just going to work on rocking forwards and backwards. But it's vital that we keep our feet, knees in line, and our hands are there just to prevent our legs from falling apart. We're going to rock forwards and backwards. So let's go. Try very hard not to let your back of your head and the neck touch the floor. If you want, start doing it about the hands, but make sure the feet and the legs don't come apart. Okay? If you lose balance, reset. Put your feet back in line, your knees together, and go again. We're going to do five more. So neat rolls, tuck rolls. And when you're ready, you can bring it into a tuck roll standing. And we're up. And let's go again. Ooh, wobbles a little bit. Okay? Make sure you try really hard to have a smooth roll and you have emphasis on really trying to make sure that your whole body is in line and it's a smooth backwards and forwards. Okay? If you're trying to stand up, you need to make sure that you have enough momentum to lift yourself up. But Make sure you don't have too much power that you just fall backwards or rock over. Okay? If the standing jump's too easy, you can move on to a one leg tuck roll. So you start with one leg out, you go down, making sure the hands or the leg doesn't touch the ground. And when you're ready, you wait until you feel smooth and ready, you get that momentum, and then we're up just about. Swap legs, and we can do it again. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. And there we go. Give that a try. Keep doing it. Pause it to look at the technique and think about how you're going to rock before doing the one leg stand. If the one leg stand is difficult, go back to a stand or just a normal tuck roll. Okay. Next one, log roll. So this could be five quick log rolls, okay? Make sure you keep your tummy muscles nice and tensed and you keep your arms and legs straight. We're just going to do a few log rolls. Two more. Good. Well done. We're now going to combine log roll and tuck roll with a sequence. So we're going to use either tiptoes on a leap with the roll. Okay, so let's choose tiptoes. We're really going to move around the room now. We should be, we should have a lot of energy. We should really have our heartbeat going. Move around the room, faster tempo, change in direction. Remember to really utilize the power from your point to flex. So really point and flex and push through those toes and ankles up to the calves and get yourself nice and high. 
tiptoeing round. And then when you're ready, we'll go into the tuck bar. Choose which level of difficulty tuck bar you want to do. And then back round to tiptoeing. Keep tiptoeing round. Throw a few fans in the in the lunch room. Keep tiptoeing round. And then when you're ready, into the roll. You might go for a one-legged roll this time. And up we go. There we go. Now onto the leaps. So keep going. A few more minutes and have a break. Leaping around the room, change direction. Really try and get that distance now. And then when you're ready, onto a roll. Go, there's one, two, three, and I'm back to leaping. Keep it continuous if you can. Backwards, forwards. Keep going, a few more seconds. Up the tempo, and then into your roll. I'm off screen, I'm coming back in now. Here I am. And good. Have a quick drink. Okay. I'm just going to move on to, you've been brilliant so far, make sure you keep putting all the effort, do it to the best of your ability, with control, perfect the exercises. Okay? We are just going to move on to our final few jumps. So we're going to do star jumps, which we all know. Let's go. Ten jumps. Make sure they're nice and wide. Really expand them. Five more. Increase the speed. And now we're going to move on to pencil jumps. So again, stretch to the ceiling. Make sure that you really push through the tiptoes. That's where, can we remember what I said? It was called a waft. A point to flex, yep. Well done if you got that. It was a point to flex, so you, you're pointing and then you're flexing. So you have that point in motion and then when you push up, you're flexing. And it's the ability there to point and flex with power and speed that gets you high to the ceiling. Okay, so we'll practice that with just a little jump. You can bend your knees for this one and see how quickly you can push up from your toes, ankles and knee to get to the ceiling. And then land. Okay, a few more. Really get that power. Try and hit that ceiling if you can. Not literally. One more. And land. You're trying to get as high as you can, but remember, we still want that control with the landing. Okay? Bending the knees on landing. Smooth, arms out horizontally in front. And sticky feet. Okay? One more go. Brilliant. We're just going to move now onto continuous stretch jumps. So this time, you still have a slight bend in the knee, but only a little one. Now your power really does come from your flex, flex to point. Okay, really does come from the ankle and the toes. So we're up, and then we really try and flex those toes and ankles. Okay, we'll have one more go. Try not to bend the knees, I know it's hard. And there we go. Okay, we're going to move on to tuck jump. Let's say that. So tuck jump. Again, that word earlier, let's see if you can remember. It was to do with when I was making myself nice and nice and large. Nice and tall, looking, looking good. What was that word? Okay, that word was posture. So posture with jumps, especially the next one, tuck, is key. Make yourself nice and tall, 
Keep your chest high, your shoulders raised back, your head held up and face the front. And as you do the tuck jump, you don't want to arch and lower your back. Keep your back high and let your knees come up to your chest, not the other way around, arching your chest to your knees. Okay? So if you watch, same position as always. And when I'm ready, I'll elevate into the air, keep yourself nice and high, knees go up to the chest. And then I land as normal. Bending the knees, arms out straight horizontally. If you're finding that too easy, not only can you try and jump higher, but you can put your arms above your head to make your move look more graceful, okay? Graceful means it's looking, looking a bit more elegant, a little bit more perfect and professional, okay? So as I jump up, my arms go above my head, and then on landing, they'll come out horizontally. I forgot to do the tuck. Just have lunch, not easy. One more. There we go. Okay? By all means, pause the video to do some more tuck jumps, any more of the tiptoes leaping, the stretch jumps. Okay? And when you're ready and you feel happy that you've had a practice or worked on it more, you can press play and we'll carry on. One, we're going to work now on quarter and half turns. And ultimately, if you're in year five, six, even year fours, if you want to practice, we'll do the full turn as well. But I'd much rather you practice a smaller turn and perfect it than losing control doing a full turn. So to start with a quarter turn, I'll face the camera, okay, face the front. I'm just going to decide which way to go. So I'll go anti clockwise. Facing that way is a quarter turn, so I'll be like that. Okay, so get ready to jump. Arms in the air and land. Okay, so just have a go at five jumps now. So it'll be. Notice how again I push up through my heels, through my through my legs, the arms go in the air, I swivel, and then on landing, what do I do? Shout at the camera, what do I do? Bend my knees, arms out horizontal and straight. Keeping that head still and fixated on a spot. Have a go now. Keep, well, you should have been doing that anyway, but have a go at three more quarter turns and then we'll do the half turn and the full turn. So the half turn, if that's the quarter, Another quarter would bring me halfway round. That would be three quarters, that is a full turn. So half a turn, I would have my back to you. So it would be, and there we go. And I'll come back round for another half turn. So just have a go, have, have five goes at doing a half turn. And then a full turn when you're ready. Okay, we'll do another half turn together. We ready? Let's go. Actually, I'll do one. I'll do a backwards half turn. So facing away from the camera, back to you. Brilliant. And the full turn would obviously, if I start this way, I'd go all the way round and end this way. If I started this way, Go all the way around and end this way. So you end where you start. Oh, there we go, there's one for the camera. Try again. Hey, he's gone, there we go. Lesson, ladies and gentlemen, never use the mat for your full turn. You go flying. One more go, third time lucky, here we go. Oh, needs to work on the landing. So I'm either jumping too hard or swinging round too fast. So I need that extra little bit of control 
Maybe take my time, just for a jump. Are you ready? One more go. Whoa, a little wobble. Okay. We get the idea, okay? In your own time, you should have done quite a few by now, but try doing just five more, either quarter turns, half or full. Mix them up, maybe you'll do one quarter. If you're feeling competent, do two half and then try the full. If you want to, just pause the video and do as many as you want. If you're enjoying it or you want that extra practice or you want to be active for longer. I'm going to finish out with the, hopefully this time, the perfect full turn. Way and again. And he's off. I need to work on my full turns for sure. Okay? Right. We're just going to finish with a cool down. So for our cool down, we'll do a nice, slow, touching heels. A lot slower this time. Really feel the stretch. You should feel it down the back of the leg, which is what? No, John? Do we know? The hamstring. Nice and slow. You should also feel it here a little bit as well, especially when we start applying pressure. And that is the groin. Okay, sweeping the grass, but this time just little touches. Keep this leg straight. And what is this muscle called? The back of the lower leg. The calf. Then swap over. Good. Back to the arms, we'll just do small circles. Reverse the movement, go backwards. And then we'll just open it out nice and slowly. Rotate the shoulders. And then move into some swivels. Work the hips. And there we go. Okay. If you enjoyed that, but most importantly, if you did the whole exercise, the whole video, and you worked hard to listen to myself, but also put all the skills into practice, brilliant, thank you so much. Okay, what I'd like to do, if you can, is get a piece of paper and just write down maybe five words relating to what we did today. Okay, so I might get paper and just put Jumps, jumps, um, quarter turn, half turn, full turn, okay? Or you might put hop, whatever, I want to see what you do. And put the date at the top, and that's going to be your record. So when we do it next week, you'll put a new date, and keep the sheet of paper. Okay, I'll do the same, so we're going to make our own calendar. So I'll put the date, piece of paper, five key words of what you did today, and then we'll do it for next week as well. Is that okay? I hope you're all okay back at home. Keep being active. Make sure you do your home learning as well. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Over and